April 20th, 2022, will mark two years since the release of my first song, and really only song to date, Predetermined Fate. And actually for this event, I'm in character for what I put on the single cover for it. But with that said, I feel like I need to do a little backtracking before I actually start the video. I worked on the song mainly between July and October 2019, with occasionally working on it a little bit in December 2019, uh, before I would then record my uh, demo for the song, which I hope um, nobody hears anytime soon. Then I would record the release song on April 15th, 17th, and 18th, uh, finishing it on the 18th and posting it on the 20th. The reason it was posted on the 20th wasn't remotely due to marijuana or anything like that. It, it's just I thought it was an interesting day to release it, that's all really, but it was intentional to release it on that day. So again, I haven't really talked about this song or the meaning behind it. Uh, it was mainly due to my concern with um, a lot of employment in just uh, in the US and maybe some other countries, I'm not entirely sure, uh, of the employment process, of the process of feeling s seemingly stuck due to how high college prices are per year, and how messing up a single thing many years ago can affect your future. Admittedly, I probably did over-exaggerate the uh, seriousness of it, and how dire of a situation it was, but it was something I knew at the time, and I kind of wanted it to make it seem dramatic. However, looking back at the lyrics, uh, they're in the chorus, just googling them kind of uh, has the symptoms of depression pop up, so oops, because again, that was not the intention. I, I just wanted to make a song about being in a process where you feel like you're just stuck in a rut. Um, Bill Wurtz's song had absolutely nothing to do with that, and admittedly, when I made the song, I kind of felt like I was stuck in a rut, a bit of a rut myself, whether it be due to school, um, friendships with other people, whatever the case. If anything, what I wrote about kind of resonated with me um, much more during, uh, during after I finished the song rather than when I made it because when I initially made it it was pretty much at the beginning of the COVID-19 epi epidemic and I really did not know the effects of it until months later when wanting to travel, starting school back up again, wanting to do more and having it feel like every day kind of just being the same so it is kind of interesting how that happened I, I suppose but I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself I'm not trying to make it out to seem like a complete masterpiece or anything like that, obviously, no, no. But yeah, I think it's about time to start talking about how I recorded the song and all. Now keep in mind, I don't really have any photos or videos of me in the process of making the song, because even though I like taking photos and videos a lot, I didn't really know what to record, uh, because just recording yourself trying to edit music isn't necessarily easy, and it isn't the most entertaining either, so I didn't really know what to do. But I did take a photo when I finished it, being this photo, and it actually is kind of interesting how I pretty much look the same from that moment, like exactly two years later almost, which is kind of interesting considering my look changed a lot after that, but it's kind of reverted if that makes sense. So let's go. So in terms of how the song was made and all that, it isn't really that complicated actually. I had an electric guitar, a bass guitar, and vocals, and that was about it. For the bass in the song, I used Squire's electric bass. The electric guitar was done with Fender's Squire uh, Stratocaster, and the vocals were done with the Blue Snowball. It's gotten a little more beat up since I used it, but... Also, for the distortion on the electric guitar, I used uh, Boss's uh, DS1 distortion pedal. Uh, and actually that's the only pedal I used, the rest was just kind of clean sounding. And to record all of this I used Focusrite's Scarlet Solo interface. At the time of using it, it was actually really good, and it still is. I stopped using it because I thought there were issues with it not working at times, but I think it was because I was using too many extensions to plug it into the computer. I think I needed a direct cable rather than having an extension. Complicated, but eh. It's still good. The software I used was GarageBand, and I recorded it on my 2012 MacBook Pro. Um, this isn't the same table, but it's the same computer. Um, the table I used was slightly larger, but I ha did have it positioned this way. And when I was um, when I was recording the song, I had a bunch of kind of I just kind of had a bunch of cables lying around the floor and all that because it's really kind of messy. I mean, I have some I have some over there, but they're kind of covered by that radio. Also, when I was setting up everything on GarageBand, I um, I had two di two different tracks for the bass line. The actually the first bass line, the intro one uh, with the tapping, uh, was recorded on December thirty first, twenty nineteen. Um, I just kept that from the demo, 
uh, but the bass was re-recorded, and uh, the guitar lines, well, they were, yeah, you know, everything else was re-recorded, but um, I had a couple different guitar lines, I think, four, and uh, I had vocal tracks, all of which I recorded with the Blue Snowball, um, which all the vocal lines were pretty much just recorded in the middle of my room, standing up, like, holding up the snowball, uh, because the stands for it broke, but I did three different tracks for each stands of the vocal, so that was a little exhausting, but I was able to do it, so there's that. And that's really about it. I mean, I think the overall feeling of the song is captured pretty well with the single cover, and speaking of the single cover, the one that's posted online is in color, uh, this one obviously isn't, but this is the final image, the final drawing. I drew it with pretty basic um, markers and uh, pen but um, I would finish coloring it and all on uh, the app Krita, or I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to roll the art, but... Oh, and also, the current single cover was not finished until August of 2021, so un until then it was a much more sloppy cover, which I, I don't know if I want to share that, but... Um, but basically, imagine imagine this dude as a stick figure, and I did the color using markers. Yeah, it, it did not look good. And admittedly, even though, as I mentioned before, I haven't talked about this necessarily publicly, I have told uh, a lot of my friends involved in music, not all of them, but I feel like I've kind of been regurgitating like, some of the same stuff, but, but yeah, there's that. Oh, and also, the reason it was released on YouTube on September 4th, 2021, and the reason, and actually partially the reason that I decided to actually start working on the single cover to make it look uh, legitimately alright was because we, on Weezer's official Discord server, it was announced that Suzy Shin, the uh, producer of the album Van Weezer, would be listening to people's music and doing listening type of streams, and I tried to hurry up on that, and, and I was eventually able to make it happen. Oh my god. That was awesome. That was really cool. I love this. Uh, I love this verse melody a lot. Like it was so unexpected and like really kind of really, really cool. Um, the lyrics are awesome, too. That was awesome. Um, I'm excited to hear more. I think um, the bass could use like I don't know if you have a compressor on it but something to like more so like even it out like in the level like it, when the vocals and the guitars come in it still seems like super bass heavy that's like one critique but um um it was really cool hopefully you enjoyed this video and keep in mind that I've also been still making songs of my own during this time period and the reason for not releasing more is either due to me procrastinating not having the time or you know, whatever the case. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, see you next video.